All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we're looking at a new Alien card. What? Aliens got a new card? It's been at least eight years since they got a new card. That is freaking ridiculous. But, I mean, it's cool. It came out of nowhere. Uh, but you want to know a fun fact? I used to play Aliens. I bet you didn't know that because I never talk about it because this is way before the channel. Like, I played Aliens back in, like, eighth grade. Eighth grade. But I didn't create my channel until I was done with high school. I played Aliens way back in the day when they first came out. Before they had their synchro monster, I played Aliens. And by I play Aliens, I mean I was a Saki scrub and yeah, I played Aliens, but I also played three wave motion cannons and didn't duel my opponent and then just wave motion cannoned them. So, ah, ah, so much skill, so fun, so good, Daniel. Ugh, and I just need to go and take a shower right now just thinking about how Saki I fucking was. Anyway, it's amazing that Aliens got uh, a new card, and you know what, this card's actually pretty good. It actually can help them. Now, will it make Aliens top tier shit? Hell no. But, I mean, it, it helps the deck, if you ever want to play Aliens, I would definitely play this card. So this is a Cell Recombination Device. So it's like A, A counter, but it's also A, like, you know, like, that's what it is. It, it's the A Cell uh, Recombination Device. And it seems like A shouldn't be there. Like, if it was actually, like, whatever you were reading, it would be like, no, this is the Cell Recombination Device. It's not A Cell uh, Recombination Device. Uh, anyway, of course, A counters. You know, that's what aliens do. Uh, they're not the greatest of counters in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, they have some alien monsters that are like, hey, you know, depending on how many eight counters on your opponent's monster, though they're attacking defense by 300, or hey, if your opponent has eight counters, take their monsters, stuff like that. They have a lot of cards that have to do with eight counters and they do varying effects, but that's for just eight counters. So, it's a quick play spell card that reads, target one face-up monster on the field. Send one alien monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, place eight counters on that target equal to that monster's level. Okay, I mean, that's not terrible. Uh, it's a quick way to go ahead and throw some eight counters. It's good that you go ahead and send an alien monster from a deck to your graveyard. They can actually get you uh, kind of set up, you know? And, I mean, you have some level threes, you have some level fours. So, I mean, that, that's some nice eight counters. Uh, there are some alien monsters that are like, hey, uh, my fact is your opponent has uh, monsters with eight counters, depending on how many eight counters lower their attack by, you know, I believe it's 300 attack and defense. So, you know, you send a level four, that's minus 12 attack and defense. That's nothing to scoff at. Minus 12? That. That's pretty good, so that's fine. Uh, I like that you're sending it from the deck to graveyard, so you're not, you know, taking neg. If it was like from your hand, and you know, you're taking neg, well, you're kind of negging on just playing this card, but this card then evens itself out with its second effect, which you're going to detail uh, now. Uh, during your main phase, except the turn this card sent to graveyard, so pretty much what you want to do, it's a quick play spell, play this during your opponent's turn, go ahead and send the alien slash counters, and then during your main phase, of your next turn, use this effect. You can banish your card from your graveyard, add one alien monster from your deck to hand. It's a searcher. That's great too. So you even out. You play this card, send the alien, put the counters. That's a neg. But then next, during your next main phase, you banish this card to get a search, therefore you even out and you get to go ahead and get an alien monster from your deck to hand. That's power. And do you know how well this sets up your synchro monster? Like, if there's anything that you remember from aliens, is that their synchro monster is pretty big boss ass bitch like there, there's no fucking excusing that so with eight counters on the field and the shenanigans that i can get this is pretty much a one card setup for that i believe it is a sync six i'm not going to look at the card but and like i said it was after my time like by the time that synchro monster came out i already i already dropped aliens i kind of of the time that i dropped out of Yu-Gi-Oh, right as five beings repeat was starting so forget freaking uh the alien synchro uh stardust hasn't even come out yet uh it's called, I believe it's Sync 6. You can go ahead and play this, send a level 4 alien, put the counters on your opponent's monster. Which, of course, your super monster likes it when there's counter, uh, 8 counters on your opponent's monster, so it's already there for you. Banish this card, go ahead and search for your level 1 tuner, your level 1 tuner, summon it, it I believe. Oh, uh, is it a level 1 tuner or a level 2 tuner? It's one of those two. See, see I'm not going to do the research because I just don't care enough, but it's either Sync 5 or Sync 6, and the tuner is either level 1 or level 2. I think it's level 1, and the Synchro is level 5. So go ahead and summon the monster back that you just sent from to the graveyard with this card. Sink it right into your synchro monster. So it just gets you with you get your plays set up right then and there. And that's pretty powerful. Uh, like I said, are aliens good? No. Will this make them top tier shit? No. But I mean, really, you cannot argue. This is exactly the card that they needed. Like, if you would straight up and say, you know what, aliens need more support. Like, 
Yeah, you know what they do. What card can we give them? Well, it'd be nice if they had a searcher. Bam, there you go. It'd be nice if you had a you know a quicker, better way of putting on some eight counters. Bam, there you go. So overall, this is just a really great card, and you know I'm just going down the nostalgia road because I mean there's there's like I believe there's like a snatch steel alien. There's one that pops back row. So I mean they they had some shenanigans with their eight counters. So it's nice to go ahead and just you know possibly set up your graveyard for your synchro play and go ahead and slap on some eight counters as well. But uh, yeah. It's not going to make anything top tier, but a good card. It's exactly what they needed. It's exactly what they needed. So uh, tell me what you guys think about a cell recombination device in the comment section below, and how you just feel about aliens in general. I mean, it's one of those archetypes that just, no, I can't even say a risen cell. I mean, it just never rose at all. It just never went anywhere. So it's interesting. Everybody kind of just like, what? Aliens? After eight years. Like I said, I believe their latest new card was uh, back in 2008. So after eight years, they finally get something new. That's that's amazing. Uh, I will, of course, be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. And uh, the card that I'm looking at is actually going to be from another deck that I played in my life. So if you can go ahead and guess it, try to guess it. But I mean, it's, it's a newer card. It's a newer card. I'll go ahead and be reviewing that on Wednesday. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time with some more card review.